Linus, you need to be trained. It's a good thing 30 Day Perfect Pup exists. Training dogs used to be expensive. You can take my complete beginner digital dog training class for free, and you can start today. Whether you've got a puppy or an adult dog, I'm gonna walk you through how to train them all of the most important things that they need to know in just 30 days. Things like house training, stopping puppy biting, stopping jumping, all of their basic obedience like stay, come, loose leash walking, getting their attention in distracting places, and more. And to train your dog all these things, you're gonna need some amazing dog treats. What I love about these treats is they're 95% beef liver, the other 5% is pea protein to make them form into nice, easy, palatable treats for your dog. For a dog like Linus, they're just the perfect size. These are perfectly dry. It's easy to keep these all around the house so they're easily accessible. Sign up for my 100% free digital dog training class, 30 Day Perfect Pup, and get your pup for training treats. I'll have all of the links in the description below. Click thumbs up for Athena, the German Shepherd dog. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Get a copy of my newest book and follow me on Instagram for dog training tips every day. Link in the description. You're a wild child. Look at you. It's not realistic to go from on leash training to off leash training just like that. Today I'm going to show you some of the steps you need to take to get your dog to listen to you everywhere without a leash. This is a long lead. This is imperative to off leash training. Now notice this is not a retractable lead at all. You might also notice too I'm using a harness out here. That's going to be really important because if your dog gets to the end of the lead you don't want them having that pressure around their neck. See, the beauty of a lead like this lies in its simplicity. You can let your dog drag it behind them and it makes them much easier to get to when you're doing training at a distance or in an outdoor, less or uncontrolled environment like this. It's windy, I can hear lawn equipment in the background. Very distracting, unsecure place to train a dog. That's why you'll need to make sure you have total control of the environment. Now, of course, if you ever hope to have a dog that listens to you off leash, they'll need to come to you off leash. And a lead like this really empowers you to do that type of training. I'm just really playing with her to really keep her into me right now and since she's so willing to play tug of war we're gonna do it because she's paying attention to me and not everything else that's going on around us I love that in a young dog you'll need to teach your dog how to come to you no matter where you are and that's an essential part of off-leash training but it's kind of hard to practice if you just let your dog off leash and hope they come back that's the worst way to train this to your dog Athena come good all right, she only came to me for a few inches away. I'll take that. I'm using some good treats today. Athena, come. Good job. Yes. Good work. All right, come on back here. Good. And sit. Athena, come. Good. Nice job. Good girl. So when you're teaching your dog to come to you, it's important to use an enthusiastic, inviting, happy voice. Athena's doing really well. I'm really tolerating her jumping on me and all of that right now because the fact that she's coming to me outweighs the fact that she's jumping on me. See, she's going a little crazy biting at the lead. That is one of the side effects here. So I'm just going to distract her, have her go into a sit, make her hold that for a moment. And so right there, she was just wandering around. She came to me automatically, so I went ahead and rewarded her. That's really important. Even if you don't ask your dog to come to you, if they come to you outside like this, this, always reward them in the early stages. Because right now I may as well not even have her on leash. She doesn't even know there's a leash attached. But that's no reason to skip it because you never know when something is gonna throw your dog off. Now, I'm gonna start introducing distractions artificially. You don't wanna wait for a natural distraction to emerge during your training to then just hope it goes well. So you gotta prepare your dog. See what happens here. Athena, come. Athena, come here. I want her to abandon this and not pursue it at all when I throw it. So let's try it again. Let's see if we can work through this. This time I'm not just gonna throw it. Ah. Athena. Ah. Leave it alone. Look at this, see how slow I'm going? I'm gonna lure her away. Ah. Over here, come on, sit. Yes, good. Did you see how we broke that down into a, a really easy version for her so it wasn't so overwhelming? We didn't just throw it and say, come on, forget about that distraction. We're walking her through the steps. She's really curious about it. Athena, come here, sit, leave it alone, come, sit. Good work, very nice. Now let's see how much we can build on that. That's our foundation, leave it alone. Movement that time. She's looking at me, I'm gonna go ahead and reward her just cause she checked in with me. Come on, yes, good work. I'm gonna bring more movement to the toy. The more movement there is, the more distracting it is. Leave it alone. Oh, too much. And I'm working up to being able to really surprise her with this. Leave it alone. 
come. Good, oh, that was wonderful. You could see her reach really deep and self-correct there, that was perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a jackpot reward, which means lots of real small pieces of great tasting treat. This is just after a few attempts, she's really starting to make progress. Come here, nope, yes, perfect. That was really good right there. She's really starting to get it right now. And because we have her on lead, we're able to do a lot of this with peace of mind while keeping her safe and preventing all those bad habits like running away from us from even getting started. Athena, come. Nope. Yes, good girl. That was wonderful. I really want to let her know she made the right decision there. That was awesome. Athena, come, yes, good girl. Now you're getting it, aren't you? And so before I was struggling with throwing it that way, so let me see if we can get that now. Athena, come. Nope. When I threw it that way, she's like, oh, the rules don't apply when you throw the toy that way. That's why you have to practice this in so many different ways and in different circumstances. Athena, come. Look at her thinking. Athena, come on. Yes, good job. So you saw there, I mean, she really had to think it through and, and she realized, oh wow, come when called means come even when he throws it that way. Also, getting low to the ground like that really helps. I've been working with Athena on stay for a period of time and when I'm really up close to her, but I'd like to see if we can do a bit better on stay with distance. See, if I tell her to stay right now and I walk away, watch what happens, stay. See, she immediately starts to follow me. Let's make that easier for her. I'll take one step back at a time and acknowledge when she's succeeding. So I'm gonna come back to her and reward her when she stays while I walk away. Stay. Back here. So right there, she didn't do what I wanted. That's my fault for pushing her too quickly. Stay. Good. Stay. That's four steps back about. Very good, I'm gonna give her an increased reward there because that was much better than before. Really, I want her holding that stay until I say, okay, it's over. Stay. Stay. Okay, good job. Stay. You can see what was tricky about that. I, I started to jog backwards. Dogs like chasing you, especially when you pick up the pace like that. So let's proof stay a little bit. You see when I get more animated, how she starts to break her stay? Stay. Good. Stay. And I'm being a bit goofy here on purpose. At least that's what I like to tell myself. Stay. Ah, nope. I'm working on being able to have her stay and then just bolt in the other direction. Stay. Okay, good job, now we're talking. All you have to do is stay here and you get great rewards. I'm rewarding 100% of the time since this is new behavior for her. Don't be stingy on your treats with a young dog when a concept like this is so new. You would continue to reward just about every time for the next many weeks on something like stay with distance in an outdoor distracting setting. Stay. Good girl, okay, good job, you did great. Long leads are great because they simulate an off-leash setting while still giving you that safety net. They really allow your dog to explore and give them more freedom. There's no one magical moment where your dog is just ready to be off-leash. You have to slowly phase that in over time. There's an extensive practice period that really should take one to two years, not because your dog won't get it, but because you need to practice in so many different ways and different places. Sign up for my free digital dog training class, 30 Day Perfect Pup, and I promise your dog won't be disappointed with pup for training treats. If your dog doesn't love them, send them back. I'll have a link below. Click thumbs up for Athena. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram for dog training tips every day and get a copy of my brand new book. Athena, good job, girl. She's awesome, isn't she? What a good dog.